Today I am starting a new project where I'm going to make a mini version of my old Commodore 64. The Commodore 64 was, and still is, the best-selling single computer model of all time. An estimate of 30 million units was sold between 1982 and 1993. It was also my first computer and I got mine back in 1987, almost 40 years ago. To make a modern mini version of the machine, I will model and 3D print a custom case and to bring it to life, I will use a Raspberry Pi with emulation software. With this small microcontroller, I should be able to make a fully functional custom keyboard for it as well. But let's start at the beginning and focus on the case first. I started by taking some measurements and reference photos from my old machine. After taking photos from three different angles and noting down a few measurements on paper, it was time to import the photos into Fusion and begin modeling. I imported the side photo as a canvas and calibrated the size to match the grid. The next step was to trace around the object and I started by adding the straight lines first. Then I added the curved sections. I adjusted the curves by dragging the control points until they looked accurate. Once the sketch was complete, I extruded it to match the width of the Commodore 64. Then I moved on to modeling the cutout for the keyboard. As seen in this photo, there is a rectangular frame around it, so I added that first. With the frame in place, I started tracing the outline of the keyboard. Then I model in these grooves. I added a box for the Commodore logo and placed it in the upper left corner. After that I did the same on the opposite side to create space for the power light. Next, I cut into the base to make sure the grooves didn't intersect with the logo box. I repeated the same step for the power light on the right side of the case as well. Then I downsized the model to a width of 250mm. I made both halves of the case hollow with a thickness of 1.6mm. At this point, I had a pretty good starting point for the case. So I decided it was time to do a test print to see how it looked and whether there was any adjustments needed. I imported both objects into Bamboo Studio. For this print, I used a standard profile with a 0.2mm layer height. I enable supports and in this case, I think the normal type is better suited than the tree supports. To improve bed adhesion and reduce the risk of warping, I added a brim. The upper half was estimated to take around 4.5 hours to complete. The lower half should be a bit quicker with an estimate of 2 hours. Once everything was set up, I selected a roll of filament in the AMS and sent the job to the printer. Once the print was finished, I removed all the support material.
the top surface could have been a bit smoother, but I think we can improve that the next time by using variable layer heights. That will allow us to use lower layer heights only where it is needed, without increasing the print time too much. The bottom half had a few marks from the support material, but since it's on the underside it won't be very noticeable. The color looked more like a skin tone than the beige color of the Commodore 64, so I will be looking for a better suited filament for the final version. In this video I created a basic model for the Mini Commodore 64, which should serve as a good foundation for the rest of the project. In the next episode I will look into how to mount the Raspberry Pi inside the case. I will also try to reroute the USB ports and power connector to the side, where the joystick ports are located on the old machine. I will add an HDMI connector on the back of the case as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more of this project, consider subscribing so you don't miss any future updates. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any suggestions for the project. And that's all for today, see you in the next one.